Okay, in this scene, we're gonna talk about differentiation of T cells. And since this is a packed topic, we're gonna to make it a lot of fun. So here we go. We're gonna talk about TH1, represented by this teacup with the gun. Teacup with gun for TH1. We're gonna to get to TH2, represented by the teacup with the shoe for TH2. And this is the weirdest one, TH17, represented by the teacup with this heaven teen over here. It's like a teen from heaven. He's got these heaven wings for TH17. At the end of the video, we're going to talk about the T-Regs, represented by the T-Rex over here. So let's begin with TH1. So in this video, we're going to talk about what each of these T-cells secretes, what they're induced by, and what their basic function is. So we're going to begin with TH1. What's going on on top of the T-cell over here is what it secretes, and what's inside of it is what it is induced by. So what does TH1 secrete? It secretes IL-2, represented by the I with the shoe. It secretes interferon gamma, represented by this infinity gum over here. It's gum that looks like the infinity sign. And it also secretes TNF-alpha, represented by this tuna fish elephant. It's a half tuna fish elephant for TNF-alpha. It is induced by, again, interferon gamma. That's interesting. TH1 is induced by interferon gamma and also secretes interferon gamma. This is an important positive feedback mechanism. And finally, we see this elf that's hiding in here, the elf with the eye, the eye elf for IL-12. TH1 is induced by IL-12. And in general, TH1 cells are really important for activating macrophages. That's why we have this macrophage of guy over here with this pathogen inside. The TH1 cell shoots him and this activates the macrophage to break down the intracellular pathogen. TH1 cells are also important for activating cytotoxic T cells. All right, so that's it for TH1. Here we go. Let's go on to TH2. So here we have TH2 represented by the T with the shoe. So it secretes lots of things. Let's talk about those. It secretes IL-4 represented by the I with the door. It secretes IL-5 represented by the I with the hive. It secretes IL-6 represented by the I with the six. It secretes IL-10 represented by the IL with the hen. It's like an I that's got hen feet. And it secretes IL-13, represented by I with the dirty teen inside. It's induced by IL-4, represented by this I with the door. Again, another positive feedback mechanism. IL-4 induces the expression of TH2, and TH2 in turn secretes IL-4. We also have the shoe over here to help us remember IL shoe. IL-2. IL-2 and IL-4 are important for inducing the expression of TH2. And what's the general function of TH2? For fighting off helminth worms. And that's why we have this helmet worm over here. The eyes on top of him are to help us remember the eosinophils, which are really important for being activated to fight off those parasites and helminth worms. And the E that's coming out is to help us remember the IgE. TH2 cells are really important for class switching to IgE, which is really important as we see in the hypersensitivity type one reaction. All right, let's move on to TH17. So here we have TH17 represented by the teen with the heaven wings, right? It's the heaven teen over here, heaven teen for 17. So what does TH17 secrete? It secretes several things. Here we see another teen over here. The teacup over here is secreting this heaven teen for the I17, IL17. Also IL21 represented by the I with the twin guns. And finally IL22 represented by the I with the twin shoes. What induces the expression of TH17? So here we see the, the gun for IL-1. Here we see the stick for IL-6, IL-6. And here we see the tagged beta fish, the tagged beta fish for TGF-beta. IL-1, IL-6, and TGF-beta all induce the expression of TH17. And what's TH17 important for? Here we have this nacho here representing neutrophils and he's running over. TH17 is really important for inducing neutrophilic inflammation by causing the recruitment of neutrophils. And this is important for fighting extracellular pathogens. Okay, the best part, the T-Rex. So here we have the T-Rex, the T-Rex representing the T-Regs. And he's shooting out, he's secreting various things. One is TGF-beta, the tagged beta fish over here. The other is this hen representing IL-10. And finally, this hive over here that's really thirsty for water. Thirsty hive for 35. What induces the expression of the T-Rex? Well, these guys over here are gonna remind us of that. The tagged beta fish for TGF beta and the eye shoe for IL-2 that are somehow forcing this T-Rex to shoot these things out of his mouth. And what's the function of T-Rex? Well, we see the moon over here and these things being shot out are preventing the auto from going into it. They're preventing the auto from going to the moon. So T-Rex are important for preventing autoimmunity. A final word that we're gonna make is about inhibition. And then as a general rule, cytokines that activate one of these T cells will downregulate the activation of the others. For example, 
Interferon gamma, as we mentioned, is really important for inducing expression of Th1. Interferon gamma will in turn downplay the expression of Th2 and Th17. As another example, IL-4 is really important for the expression of Th2. And for that very same reason, IL-4 will also downplay the expression of Th1 and Th17. All right, I hope you enjoyed this scene on T-cell differentiation. Please subscribe to the channel, ask me questions if you need, and take care.